you've often shared that all in the same week, your your mother passed away, you got married, um, so many life advance, you're, you're working hard to get into the NFL, you're working at all these different angles. What was that bottom like for you? And, and more than more important than just the emotions, what tools did you use tactically to get out of that? Yeah, there's a lot to unpack there, which I'm happy to do. Let's do um, it. But yeah, you know, I talk about that bittersweet moment with Taysom. I had a way, way more bittersweet moment, you know, with getting married and losing my mom all in the same weekend. So when I, my life growing up, high school, middle school, even most of college was, was fairly easy. You know, I was always like a really good athlete. I always, I had a lot of friends and great parents and we had everything we ever needed and I had it very easy. And even in college, I, it, was, it wasn't that hard to become a starter and to become, you know, the featured guy. It wasn't until I went to the NFL where I feel like I actually got smacked around a little bit uh, with trials. You know, I was always mentally stable and with it and competitive and it could hold my own. But, you know, you go to the NFL and I wasn't a starter, you know, like Tyreek Hill was. Him and I were roommates together in, in uh, training camp. And, uh, and he was like an instant starter, which I obviously should have been. I didn't have that. I had to grind for everything. Go to the practice squad. Like I, I had to grind for everything there. And so I didn't have it easy. And life was stressful. And, you know, within a month of me being in the NFL, I get a call from my mom that she had terminal cancer, which was just like flooringly tough because her and I were extremely, extremely close. And now I had that to deal with and balance. Like, do, I, do I just quit football? Like I'm fine quitting if I can go be with my mom before she passes away. And I was 25 at the time. So I was young and going through this, like, you know, I'm trying to play and make a name for myself at this next level in the NFL. But I got this mom who's just rapidly declining. And all through this, at the same time, I have a very serious girlfriend who I'm planning on getting engaged to and we're married now. And all this is happening at one time. And I don't remember ever thinking like, Kamish, this is your moment to define you, like who you are. You, you don't like think that in the time. You're just like surviving. Like I'm surviving on the field. And I, I went to play with the Cleveland Browns and the Minnesota Vikings. Now I'm changing teams now teams are cutting me and not, not wanting to sign me I'm going through some changes and just a lot was happening and my mom's health started to rapidly decline after I got engaged and my mom comes home one day with my dad and I can tell they're visibly like very upset and she's like yeah my the doctor gave me like a month to live and we I'm not even joking I think all of us that were in that room like looked at our phones were like a month like that our wedding is a month from today and the wedding didn't matter like in terms of like we can me and my wife were like, or fiance were like, let's just move it. Let's just move it till like next weekend. We don't care. Like it's not, it'll happen no matter what, you know? And she's like, no, 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 I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. And if my mom said that, like she was typically right. I mean, she had a six pack abs, like marathoner, freak athlete, um, super fit, super healthy, very, very, very there and strong mentally. So we, we, we were confident she was going to make it. As the weeks went on, it started to decline really, really fast. And I think all of us sort of lost hope and the ability to get there. She ended up passing away a couple of days before my birthday, April 13th, 2017. And our wedding, or her funeral was, you know, a week later. And it was, I think, on a Thursday. And our wedding was on a Saturday. So her funeral was like two, maybe three days before our wedding. And it was just one of those, like, you just, yeah, I don't even know the word for it. But you're like, how is this, how is this even possible? You couldn't even write a, a, sto a movie about like this situation, but I can't change it. I got to go through it. And so I had this crazy tough moment with my mom. And then that same weekend, you know, I'm getting married and all the people that flew into town for my mom's funeral from, you know, relatives, cousins, they wore like the same outfit to the wedding because like, you know, well, we can just do a two for one, right? Go hit a, hit a funeral, hit a wedding at the same time. And it was rough. It was really tough. And it was sort of a, what uh, is called a crucible moment for me. All great leaders, uh, <clears throat> all people that you know make changes in their community and lead movements and lead businesses and lead people they have all of them have what's called a crucible moment crazy story going through something crazy hard like nuts hard and they use that as a staple in their life to sort of establish who they are and use that story to propel them through the next challenges in their life. And so I came up with this term, redefine hard, that that moment would redefine the definition of hard for me, burying my mom in the ground on the same weekend as my own wedding, having her miss it. And then a few days later, I'm on, I'm on the Minnesota Vikings. I'm trying to play football at the highest level.
highest level. It's just crazy. That moment for me redefined what hard really meant. And so my perspective has forever changed. And I, I feel like my leadership and my outlook on life is, is so dramatically changed from that moment that I'm now able to lead more people because what's hard to me is a little bit different than everybody else. And in hard times, I can think a little bit more clear because I, I learned to think clear and perform at the highest level of football while all this other stuff was going on. And so performing at a high level while bad things are happening, still able to show love to my wife on the biggest moment of our lives, getting married while nurturing this broken family that we had who was all just swelled up with tears the whole weekend. Tears, we didn't know where they were coming from, man. It was just a freaking fat fear uh, tear factor out there. So it was just living through that. And so that was a, a crucible moment for me for the next chapters of my life. And I would pay any dollar I have to, to get five minutes with her again to get you know more lessons and more mom, more coaching. But you know, you roll with what life gives you and you you move forward with uh, the next thing. Hopefully things aren't as hard as that again, but I'm prepared if they are. So in, thank you for sharing. Like that, I can't imagine going through that and I like speak leaves me speechless like that story 